Huh. That squirrel actually is water skiing. Oh, hey. Didn't see you there. Uh, well, as long as I've got my phone out, why don't we go over how to install Teams on uh, any phone you happen to have? Uh, the phone that I have right now is actually uh, an Android device. Uh, this one's a Samsung. Uh, but the advice that I give you right now should work on any Android device that you happen to have. So uh, on an Android device, in order to install a new app, you're going to go to the Play Store. Now, the Play Store may be in slightly different places depending on what type of phone you have, but it's always going to look more or less like this. It's going to have a little Play Store uh, name under it, and the icon is going to be a little colorful triangle in a little white circle. So we'll go ahead and uh, click that, and it will bring up the Play Store page for us to search for the app. So up in the top, we're going to click that, and we're going to type in Teams. Uh, hit the little magnifying glass, and oh, there we go. It's exactly what we're looking for, Microsoft Teams. So we'll go ahead and click Install. And uh, I don't think that should take too long. It's usually pretty quick at... <laughs> Oh, good. It's done. Okay. Like I said, really quick. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to go back to the main page. Now, you'll see that the Teams app isn't showing right up on the home page. On an Android device, when you install something new, it doesn't automatically show up on the home page for you to find it. Most of the time, to see all of the apps that are installed on your device, you simply swipe up on the home page screen, and it will give you a list of all of the apps that you have in alphabetical order, more or less. So because it's Teams, it's going to be towards the end there. Ah, there we go. There is the Teams app. We're going to tap that and go ahead and open it up. Now, the first time you open Teams, it's going to give you this. It's going to say uh, sign in or sign up for free. Now, your student is an Iroquois student, which means that they have an office license already. So there's no sense in uh, signing up for one since we already have one. In fact, you definitely want to use your student account because the student account is how they are assigned to each of the classes that they are going to participate in. So to get our student signed in, we're going to go ahead and tap the little sign in button. And then it's going to ask you for an email, phone, or username. We're going to go with an email. Now, your student's email is going to be their student number, which is usually like a 6-8 number, sometimes 6-9, sometimes 70. Uh, but we're going to put in their student number followed by at iroquois.iu5.org. So we'll go ahead and put this in. I have a little example student right here. So 6809888 at iroquois.iu5.org. And we'll go ahead and click sign in. Now, if you're not sure what your student's login is, you can always reach out to one of their homeroom teachers. If you reach out to them by email, they'll be able to uh, send you a copy of their user and password for you to log in. So uh, I happen to have the password for this student here. So we'll go ahead and type that one in. Okay. There we go. So uh, now that I've typed the password in, we're going to go ahead and click sign in. And it'll take a moment for it to finish signing in. OK, uh, we'll go ahead and click Next. Click Next. Click Got It. All right. Now, the very first screen that you're going to see here is going to be the Activity Feed screen. Anytime that your student is added to a class, or is given an assignment, or is uh, invited to a video meeting, it will show up in this Activity Feed. So this is really the primary place that your student will need to look in order to participate in each of the classes. Although we're going to go over a bit more what each of these mean in greater detail in another video, I'll show you real quick where to find everything on the Android app. So the next one over is going to be Teams. In here, you'll see every class that your child is actually rostered into. So here we can see that there is a uh, CAD class. Um, there is a uh, period seven English class. And then there's, oh, there's my class, Russ's awesome team. It's the best class. Um, so in any case, this is where your student can find all of the different teams. Uh, next, in the most important tab, really, is the assignments tab. Anytime a teacher is going to assign something to a student, a piece of work, or maybe something they just want them to read, most of the time they will put it out as an assignment. Now, you can see when we hit the Assignments tab that it will show us each of the different classes that we are a part of. If we then click those individual classes, we'll click Next, 
you can see if there are any assignments that have been assigned to us. On this one, we uh, don't have any assignments on us. So we're done for the day. Uh, next, you will see calendar and calls. Calendar, here you will see any uh, live video meetings that your students are invited to. Um, and then under calls is not a feature that we actually end up using, so it's basically a useless button. So uh, in the next video, we will go over exactly how all of this uh, team stuff works on all mobile devices, both iOS and Android. Uh, if you have a different device that you want to see how to install it on, go ahead and click one of the other buttons showing you how to install it on iOS, Mac, or uh, PC.